Hey guys, well I'm going to try to get this video done as soon as possible because frankly um, i got a ton of stuff to do. <clears throat> I uh, Today I've got my daughter's <clears throat> end of the school year uh, picnic and then I've got uh, friends, uh, the guy that's the best man in my wedding and his wife. Uh, we get together typically about once a year and they're coming over tonight. Um, plus it's pouring down rain. So it's just, you know, and I'm going out of town in like two days. So there's a ton of stuff that I got to get done and got to move forward. So I'm going to try to pull this one out as fast as possible. And hopefully you get it before I leave <laughs> on Friday. It's Wednesday right now. So, uh, well, first of all, um, I ran the race. So hallelujah for that. Uh, I did pretty good. Um, there were some discrepancies in the time. Let me explain. Um... One was I picked the wrong race to run as my first race. Um, however, I think it was a God thing, so I ran it and it's good to go. Um, but I plan on running another one in about two weeks on June 11th. I just got to get signed up for it and all that kind of stuff. Um, the discrepancy was this. Uh, when you guys run 5Ks, some of you guys are runners, some of you guys have no idea or you're thinking about running. So just let me tell you. Um, there's something called a D-chip. Uh, D-chips are typically for bigger races where when you're standing a little bit further back from the line, <clears throat> um, the D chip, once it crosses the start line is when it starts timing you. And so you get an accurate time for smaller races or cheap races. They don't do that. And so my race had a little over 200 people in it and no D chip. So <clears throat> I had a bunch of friends come to cheer me on, as you'll see, because I made a video. Um, those people were all kind of hanging out toward the back, and so we were at the very back of the line. Um, everybody was crowding the start line. We didn't want to be up there. And um, in the video, you'll never see the start line. Um, if you look past, like right when we, right when the gun goes off and we, we start taking off, you'll see there's a pole r right up against the screen like a, a light pole or a power pole. And then there's one further down, then there's a tree, then there's one further down, and there's another tree, and then there's one further down. So it's like three poles down. That's where the start line was. The start line was pretty far away. And <clears throat> we, they didn't have a megaphone, so the guy was just talking loudly. And uh, we had no idea they were about to start. And so we were taking pictures, all that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden we heard the crack of the gun and we were like, oh, okay. And so we started taking off. Um, that was one thing. The second thing was, is even though this was a, a race, it wasn't associated with what's called the Taste of Glen Ellen. And so some last minute changes to the Taste of Glen Ellen were set up and they actually set up tents on our race route and they had to change the race route last minute well they'd already done the measuring and everything and so i think they made an educated guess and it was a really bad guess um, i've now been able to work it out it was a quarter of a mile longer than it needed to be and so um yeah so on top of that we're in the very back and we had to run for an extra quarter mile i thought it was weird because my program um, you'll see a point where we were coming up the hill, hill from hell and um, my daughter's cheering me on, go daddy go. And then we're supposed to go straight. Well, instead they had us take a left and run a couple blocks, then take a right. Well, they had us run even a block further than it was originally planned. Wrap around and then come back up the street that we were supposed to go straight on, then wrap around and run toward the finish line. Well... It, as soon as as soon as I even thought about it, I was like, eh, well, almost all the way down that street when I rounded the corner finally and was about, well, I'd say about a quarter to a half of the way up, my thing, my program said I was done. And I'm like, what? And so at first I'm like, oh, the GPS is off, you know, whatever, just keep running. But it wasn't. It, that was 3.11 miles. And so you can't change the route of a race but not change the finish line. Like, unless you can work it out exactly, which it was so clear that they did not exactly do it right. So um, I won't be running this race anymore, and I was pretty ticked. So my time for them 
was 44, um, 44, 53, I think is what they clocked me in at. However, my time that I'm going with is what my program said, and that was 38 minutes and 22 seconds. So I, I feel confident. I have some friends that are hardcore runners. Um, my neighbor, talked to my neighbor about it. He's a marathoner. And he's like, you go through your time on your on your program. He's like, the, they made a mistake. Yeah, so that's the deal, basically. Um, it sucks. You know, that's my first race. Now, the next race I'm running is a lot more professional race. It has D-chip timing. And um, so I'm going to run that on June 11th. I'm not looking forward to it just because it's going to be hot and humid. I just know it is. But this, this race was actually pretty humid. It was in the mid-70s, but it was super humid. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so here's the video. You get to see little pieces from here and there where my friends were running and stuff like that. Now, I'm running extremely slow at the top of this one hill. And you have to understand, like, at the bottom of the hill, right before they turned the camera on us, my buddy and I looked at each other and we're like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, I knew it was coming, but he didn't know. And I'm like, yeah, this is going to suck. And so by the time we got to the top of it, we were just dragging tail. So, um, so you get to see that, you get to see the finish line and then their clock and everything when I can finish. Um, so yeah, so there you go. Um, I will say this, I came in second place in my age category. Apparently there's some old 30 to 34 olds out there. <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah, so I, I came in second and, um, now my friend that was going with me, of course he let me win. So beat him cause it was my race and he was just doing it as support. So, uh, check out the video and then we'll talk for a second after that. Okay. Wave. So definitely through logging wise, uh, Angie's got, uh, about a block over is our two and a half mile mark. So you guys will probably be there and then you guys can just walk back over here. Right okay, cool. They're going. Let's go. Start running. It was a pistol. Okay, look at mommy. Look at mommy. She's like. They're coming. Cheer him on. Keep cheering. Quickly. No, hold it here. No, hold it. Hold it. Go ahead. No, Cheer him on. Hold it. No. Clay, it's okay. It's okay. Cheer him on. Cheer him. Cheer him. Run with him. Come on, Chloe. Run with him. Come on. I think he's I think he's okay. I think he's done with that, Angie. Good job, bro. Oh, good job. You look good. Thanks. Pretty cool, huh? Um, definitely wish I wouldn't have wore that shirt. Uh, showed a little bit too much of the bubble levels. Um, so that's about it, guys. Um, I'm doing okay. Oh, wait. Huh, we didn't even talk about weight. Uh, I've only lost three pounds this week, which is not terrible. Um, I'm at 303, or 304, 304. Um, that's 165 pounds, 66 pounds, 166 pounds. 
uh, down and uh, about three, four more to go, whatever you want to say, four more to go till uh, reach my goal before my birthday, which is next week, um, next Saturday, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And uh, I think I'm going to do it. Oh, wait a minute. It's not next Saturday. Is it next Saturday? Yeah, it is next Saturday. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to make it. I don't think it's an issue. I haven't been able to run since the race. Uh, Monday was going to be my run day. My wife didn't come home from work until like 7.30 or something like that. So by the time I processed with her, it was like, got to go to bed. And, uh, and then yesterday, uh, it was another late night for her. She's working really late because of the whole situation with uh, us going out of town. We're leaving town on Friday afternoon and we're not coming back until Monday night. So, uh, to go visit my family kind of for my birthday and everything. So, um, yeah, it's going to be exciting for them. It's been, uh, I think I'm 105 pounds smaller than the last time they saw me. So I'm sure they're going to be like, holy smokers. So, or they won't care and they'll blow it off like it's nothing. Oh, well, um, Waist size, I have lost more. Um, I'm probably like a 44, 46. I got my 46s. I think the last video I hadn't gotten them yet. Um, I got them and they have about that much space I can pull them out. And so, um, yeah, it's time to probably go to a 44 now. Uh, I'm not going to get 44s for a couple weeks. Just going to kind of feel it out, see what the situation is. Um, it just kind of depends. It just kind of depends. I just don't think I'm going to do it, um, even though it'd be fun to know that I'm a 44. Um, I definitely am massively losing weight. Uh, excess skin has become started becoming kind of a deterrent. Um, deterrent meaning emotionally, um, not really anything other than that. My belly, the skin around my belly button is starting to sag and get these long lines in them and stuff like that, like like it's all hanging down. And so uh, definitely shriveling up around the belly button. Uh, it's something that I noticed that uh, my drain pouch, my drain hole was directly on the side of me. And it's now about an inch and a half from my belly button. <laughs> so it's like how much I shrunk in, um, which was pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, so since I haven't ran, I'm surprised, I, you know, I'm, I'm glad I, I hit the three pound mark. But, uh, you know, it's kind of like a oh, bummer. But, you know, what you going to do? Um, yesterday I was down four pounds, but apparently I drank a little bit too much water probably right before I went to bed. And today's my official weigh-in, so that's the way it is. Um, I think I'll lose it. I think I'll lose it. Um, I'm probably going to run. It's pouring down rain now. Obviously, I'm not going to run tonight. So I think tomorrow night I am going to run with my running buddy. And, uh, and I'll get a run in then, and then I'm going to run when I'm home. Um, cause I like the area around where I lived. I, I kind of grew up kind of in the outskirts of town, more toward the country. And so to get to run around the country is pretty fun. Um, so yeah, so we'll see how everything goes. You guys have a great week. Uh, thanks for tuning in. By the way, comments. I've been terrible with the comments. Um, it's because I've just been so busy. I don't actually sit and watch videos behind my computer. I usually watch them on my phone here and there. So when you guys comment to me, I'm not always commenting back. Please don't not comment. I'm, I'm getting less and less comments, and I know it's because everyone's like, why should I comment? He's not going to respond to me. I'm I, I'm so sorry. I really am. Um, I'm hoping I can get on some kind of routine, some kind of schedule, but with training and everything else and just my wife's work changing and the chaos there and everything, it's just been really tough to get on the computer and comment back to you. Um, I can see them, but I just can't comment back unless I get on the computer. I can comment to some of your videos from my phone, um, but my autocorrect is a beast. And so I'm liable to call you a floundering flooper or something like that. And when I'm trying to say, you go, buddy. <laughs> so um, it's, it's, it's terrible. So anyway, so uh, love you guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.